Dina Kupfer joins us via Zoom to explain. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Dina. Hi, good morning, you guys. Okay, so I am so excited about this next story because we talk about our essential workers all the time, and one family out of Stockton is going above and beyond to thank those people. So joining us this morning is Gracie Covarrubias. Her and her sister Raquel have been leaving little items for their delivery drivers. Good morning to you, Gracie. Good morning. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna we're gonna show your setup outside. We're also gonna show some of the pictures of the delivery drivers coming to your front door. So tell everyone what you're doing there in Stockton outside of your house. We are, my sister and I, Raquel, we're giving back to our heroes that are actually risking their lives to come over and do a lot of deliveries. And we just want to show our appreciation because without them, we wouldn't have anything. Now that you're ordering stuff on the um, internet, you have to order stuff that has to be delivered. So they're our heroes. They are the heroes. And I think that, you know, so often we think about all the other essential workers and not really the delivery drivers. And so talk about one of the experiences you had with someone who came over who said that they had gone on 80 runs in one day. Take me back to that day, what he told you and what happened. The delivery guy comes over and drops off some boxes and he just glanced at, this, at the uh, message that we had out there. My sister and Cal and I walked out there and I asked him, I said, how many deliveries did you do today? He said he did 80 deliveries, and um, I said, has anybody put any snacks or anything out there? He said, no, we were the first, and um, we said, help yourself, please. So we're giving him choices and said, no, get one or two. We really appreciate and we thank you from the bottom of our heart. You're our heroes. The gentleman that did come and get the snacks, he, you could see the sentimental, his eyes were watering, and we were just so blessed. My sister and I were, were just so excited because we're giving back what they're giving us. So yes, and, and you said that you guys got emotional too, just because you know how hard these people are working. They're coming with their masks and their gloves on every day, and, and you now retired, your sister able to work from home, but those people are going out on the front lines every day. So what's the message here? What do you want everybody to do? To My message is that to give, and that to be out there and just even, the gentleman said, I thank you. I appreciate you. That goes a long way also. If you can't afford it, but just go thank them because not too many people go out there and say thank you. They just drop the boxes and they look and they walk away. No, they need to be told you're well, you're very appreciated and that you guys are really the heroes. The guys, the girls, because there's multiple guys and girls, we see them every day. You're, that's what my message. Say thank you and appreciate who's delivering your stuff because you cannot find anything at the store. Where do you go? The internet. And who delivers it? Our heroes. That's my message. Uh, uh, well, I think that is a beautiful message. And I'm sure a lot of people at home are going, you know what? I can do this too. So Gracie, thank you so very much. You and your sister Raquel, just putting out a little food box, guys, some drinks, some Gatorade, uh, a couple of different items with snacks, just to show how much they're appreciated by that family there in Stockton. Well done, Gracie. Hopefully this inspires others to do. Such a great, have a great day. She inspired uh, me to do that. I know.